Go to the Tools panel of Affinity Designer and select the Rectangle tool and quickly create a rectangle. Now you can create a variety of different rectangles. Maybe just duplicate this one. Probably even easier. You can also, of course, change the size. You don't have to keep them the same size. It's a vector design. You can make them as big or small and you can duplicate it multiple times by holding down the Alter option, depending if you're on a PC or Mac. And you can vary the size. So I'm just going to make some small ones, big ones there. And again, slightly big one there. Okay, so once you've done that, I want them all crunched together. So I'm just going to go down there. You notice there, they snap. And that's view menu and snapping manager. Make certain that enable snapping is on. And you click there and then you just click that and just push that there. Now, what I want to do is I'm just going to align them. So I'm just going to come up here and just align. Nicely aligned. And also I'm going to change the colors. Now you can see the layers panel here. You can find that in view menu and down to studio. You've got all the panels here. And I'm just going to go to the swatches. So there's the swatches and I'm just going to change the color. Now I'm going to go for, let's go for black, that central one. I quite like the thin lines to be black. So I'm just going to do that and there and that one. I don't like the purple. So I'm just going to go with that. So it creates a nice tube design. Now you could, if you want to, go to layers and you could add effects to those. You could group them so you can just go up here and you can you've got here group so you can just group them like that add some effect. however if you're going to use it a brush it just doesn't look so good it's fine but it doesn't look as good as doing it later but you can do it so you can just click there just go and add a 3d effect and you can see that but you will always get the problem now you can always cut that off that bit so let's just do it let's go for it but you don't have to do it that way Personally, I prefer to create it later, but each their own. So just going to close that. So I've got a nice 3D feel to that brush. Now it's not a brush at the moment. So what I need to do, unfortunately, go here to brushes. You go over to this menu. There's no option just to use the selected item. That would be brilliant. However, because you can do that in Affinity Photo, but not in Designer. Not certain why. But what you can do, you can always go to File, and export. And now I don't want the whole lot, I just want the selection area. So just make certain new selection area, so you just get that. You can see the size there, it's 800 odd. And you can export. And I'm gonna go for test.png. You can see I created it earlier. So you've got that design there. Not finished yet, brushes. Just go to the brushes panel, right side there, and you've got here, new textured image brush. Select that, and then go and select that file. Now, when you apply it, let's just go and apply it. It's, I say, it's just using the old one. I don't want that one. There's the actual new one. Sometimes you apply it, you bring one in, it always uses the old one. You think that it would, you bring them in and it would then realize that you want to use that brush. But no, it keeps the old one still active. Very strange. However, now that selected, you can modify it. Just go in there. Double click and you can see design there and you can now I think it just creates a slightly odd ending when you do this you do repeat and you can see you end up with this break because of that but you can always change that you always just resize it just you know what let's just squeeze that in so you can change these sort of boundaries for the brush so you can remove that and I'm just gonna maybe make the size a bit bigger so you can see it but you can vary the size of course and now you can see you've got your 3d brush now of course what you can also do is just a layer so if you go to layers and I'm just gonna apply it again just there you can see you've got a bit of a 3d looks quite nice well you can always add a bit more you can also tweak that you've got here curve just go down to effects again and you can add your own go to 3d again and add additional 3d if you want to do that as well as outer shadow it's always an option there so you can just quickly add that as well but the 3D effect can be carried into the brush itself. Also, what you can do, go over here to the node tool. It's just a curve, just a standard curve. You can always edit this design. So you can decide, you know what, well, I don't want it like that. I can position it there. And also you can combine it with other things. So just undo that. You got here, I think this is quite a nice one, contour tool. So contour tool, you can just apply it and just drag out there to create a nice contour design with your brush stroke. Obviously, you can create a variety of different brush strokes but 
just wanted to show you that you can create these nice tube sort of like designs. Hope you found this of interest. Thank you much.